All right, guys. So today we're going to do the rear window regulator on the E39. I've done this video. It's been a very long time. It's been probably two years. Um, people ask me to do this video all the time. I found out pretty recently that if I'd done a video so long ago, a lot of the recent subscribers don't ever get to see it. I have so many videos out, it's hard to go back and, and find that video. I don't know how many we have out now. I think we're over, I don't even know, around 600 on this channel, maybe even more. I don't know. Um, I think total videos all together, we're getting around 900 across all three channels. So a lot of videos. Um, this is not that difficult of a DIY. And the front window is actually a little bit easier. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Okay, so here we are. Let me move just a couple things around here. And we're going to start on this. It's got my little seat with wheels on it. And first of all, what we're going to do, get a little straight screwdriver. Hope you guys got good light. Light situation here is kind of to be desired. Um, we have a little pop out right behind the handle. We're going to pop that little pop out out. Careful not to lose it. Right there. That's going to cover what looks to be a T20. Possibly a T25. And that is definitely a T20. Oh, smaller than that. Okay, so it is T20. Let's go ahead and zip that out. That's super easy. Set all your screws somewhere you're not going to lose them. That freed that up. Now I'm trying to remember here. I think that's the only screw actually holding that in. We're going to get our pry tool. You can use plastic, whatever you want. We're going to get it behind here. And we're going to start popping these snaps. like so we're gonna take the top of this we're gonna pull out now this panel might come apart and I'll show you how to fix that if that does we're gonna slip it up over your lock Get it behind here. Yeah, this one's actually coming apart, so we'll re-glue that. You gotta unhook. Well, let's do this. Let's put the handle through. Let's go ahead and unplug the speaker. We have our window switch right here. We're gonna come behind here and just kind of push up. And it's gonna pop that out. Like so. Go ahead and unplug that. Put that somewhere safe. We're gonna come down here at the bottom. The same thing with our light. We're just gonna push it out. Like so. We're going to unplug that if we can. Pretty tight fit put that over there pull that out and now our door panel is free and you can see here I was talking about E39 is real bad about this about the top coming off like so so I think what we're gonna do before we go any further we're gonna go and glue this in hopes by the time we get this done that glue will actually be dry and we can reinstall this and here we go we got you guys kind of balanced on there hope you don't fall off we're gonna use bennies and stuff more the last week than I have in the past six months. Uh, this goes like that sometimes. So we have our 3M, our black weather, super weather strip adhesive and gasket. And this stuff, this is stage two. This stuff means business. It takes a while to dry, it takes a few hours to dry. It might be set up good enough to reinstall it here in about an hour. And always wear gloves using this because a little bit goes a long way if you know what I mean.
you get a drop on you and pretty soon it's all over you. So we're going to go ahead and let's see how far this is damaged. This is actually pretty much the whole top part of this. And what we're going to do here Okay, and let's put this guy back on here. Probably should have wiped that off a little bit, but that's all right. Snug it up really good. I put it back in the box, hang it back up on the pegboard so we know where it's at next time. The pegboard's been a real godsend to us. I mean, we're not looking for tools and stuff constantly. Okay, we're going to go and stick it on there. Going to have to probably stand this bad boy up. And I got tape, but I remember now last time what I did, I stood it upside down the floor, tucked it all in, and actually got it to stay like that. Alright, so here we go. This one wouldn't stay. Some of them will, some of them won't. We just duct taped it. Now, Keep in mind, we're not going to leave the duct tape on there real super long. You want to make sure your top edge is flush, though, with the panel. So when you go to reinstall, it's easy to reinstall. The last thing you want to do is glue it in the wrong place because that's pretty much a unfixable situation. I'll put one more piece of tape on the edge there. But we'll let that set up. Hopefully within an hour or so, that's dry enough to reinstall. It's only going to take us about 30 minutes to do this door. So we'll go ahead and get everything set back up over here and start recording. Okay, I hope you can hear us. Hope everything's good. We've got the camera plugged in because the battery is almost dead. Anyhow, we have a few issues here. Here's the door foam. And somebody's glued it on the bottom, but it wasn't glued good enough. This little side's open over here. And we're going to want to probably go ahead and remove all this. We're going to reseal all this. And this is the main cause of water leaking in the back floor. If that's not sealed correctly. So let's go ahead and remove this guy. Usually I have a little cut around him. Oh, I see it's glued there too. Remove that. I'll push the door handle through that hole get off of there we'll throw that up out of the way and here's the regulator in here now we're gonna have to go in and lower the window I'll probably just clip the switch back on I think this one lowers I'm not really sure I don't really remember there we go we'll turn the key on hopefully get this down we're gonna have to get the window down and down here is going to be a bolt in the glass. Now, once we take the bolt in the glass out, we're going to remove this strip. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. This strip right here. Need a rag. Look, Lambert has a rag right there. We're just going to pop. I don't remember if it's in the top or from the bottom. I think it's from the bottom. It's not the most um, smooth way to do it, but it does work. We'll set that off to the side. That is going to reveal three Phillips screws in there. That's going to let us take the outside trim off once we get the window down. So right now, let's stop what we're doing. Let's get this window down. Okay, so the window is hooked up. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Let's try to help it. Come 
on, little buddy. There you go. Okay. There's that. That's going to reveal our very shallow Torx bit. Those things are very shallow. Be very careful removing that. And that's going to be a T30. It's barely even tight. Somebody's been in here before. Like most of these cars, somebody's been in here before. You're gonna find that. It's gonna be pretty normal. Okay, let me get I need a Phillips bit. I think a Phillips bit, we can go ahead and fish this up and out of the holder here. And the problem is you're not gonna be able to remove the upper bolt to the window regulator until you have the glass out of the car. That's what sucks about these E39s. Most other cars aren't like that. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna go ahead and pull these upper ones out. I'll flip you up just a little bit here. We're gonna pull these three. over here. We're going to come around to the back. We're going to fish this metal out. Okay. Here's a metal strip and how this works, it has a hook. So it just hooks in there and slides down into the door. So all we did was unhook the top, kind of roll the back push it over and then pulled it up. It's a very tight fit, but you have, to, this is the biggest thing. A lot of people rip up their window track trying to get this out because they don't know what they're doing. So here's that, the rubber's gonna stay in there. And now we're just gonna pick this window glass up out of here. Like so. And there it is. Here's the glass. You can see it has tin on it. Looks really easy. Probably not as easy as what it looks. Everything's kind of a tight fit. Let's stick that over here in the car so we don't step on or knock it over. And now we're going to go ahead and pull. This has a piece of cellophane on it. And make sure you guys are still in the shot. It's still rotted. This is going to rip. Hell with it. There we go. And then that is it looks to be a T25. Yep. T25. that down there because we're going to put that back in right away. Now on the bottom there's going to be it's like this one has two 10 millimeters holding the bottom so we need to get a ratchet wrench we're going to take those two 10 millimeters out of the bottom we'll be right back. Okay so we have our new regulator right there we'll get it ready we're going to go right back in make sure you guys can see everything there you go a little motion sickness so we're going to take this 10 millimeter wrench we're going to take these two, we're going to loosen these two bolts in the bottom up. Okay, so here we are. 
And you can see this is like super common with these. Everything's all mangled up. It's actually popped completely off the holder. There should be like a little plastic clip that holds it. And that apparently is just like grenaded and this thing has totally come out. So uh, we did take both the 10 millimeter bolts out of the bottom just so we have extra clearance to pull it out. So what we're gonna do right now, this motor, we're gonna reuse the motor. The motor in E39 rarely ever, ever, ever goes bad. So we're gonna go ahead and dismount this thing real quick. It looks like the new regulator is slightly different. There's two different versions of this, but I think they're interchangeable. I don't know. Well, we're about to find out if they are or not. So we got this guy fitted up. There's really not much to it. There is two different styles. They are interchangeable. Uh, so the modifications we had to do, which are pretty mild. Here's the old one. The motor on the old one mounts to the bottom of the regulator. It's so mangled up, barely. Let me show you. It mounts to the bottom of the regulator, right? And sticks up like right there. Well, the other style, it mounts up here. And the car is already pre-drilled for the holes. So I just got one more screw. That was all we needed. And tagged those in there. There's only two screws that hold that motor in. That's all you ever need. Actually, well, there's a third one, but it, it doesn't line up. So on the bottom of this, we had... Where are we at here? We had these two bolts. And this was holding the regulator in, right? So it sit like, I don't know, it went through, or how it even was anymore. Anyway, we had to loosen up two bottom bolts that held the bottom of the regulator in. They had these big, okay, I see, they screwed into here, right here. They went through here and they screwed that to the frame of the door, right? So we took that out. We don't need these two bolts. We got just a regular standard uh, 10 millimeter and there's a hole in the middle of that pulley I don't know where that piece even went it is like totally freaking mangled up and the car is already has a bracket for the other style right so we just put one standard metal thread 10 millimeter in the bottom tied up with a ratchet wrench and did that now you're probably going to get the same styles which you had so this isn't really a worry if you don't though it's not the end of the world uh, you don't have to worry about it too much. So, okay, let's uh, finish reinstalling here. All right, so I figured out we missed a step. Taking it out doesn't matter, putting it back in. I'm like, why will this glass not go back in? Well, the problem is we got to take this outer trim off. There's, You might be able to get in there, but you're probably going to ruin it if you don't stop messing around. So we're just going to take and get you guys. Let me unplug you guys here. Let's get this cord out from under you. And all we're going to do is take our pry tool and we're going to stick it under the edge of this. We're just going to lift straight up. We're just going to wiggle it. If I could do it one-handed or not, let me put this down. Wiggle it up and down, up and down, just very gently. You never want to go too much at once. And that's going to pop right off. A little harder to do it one-handed. Just like so. We'll put that for right now up there out of the way. And now that's gonna let us drop that window right back in. Okay. So we got the window on the track, the little plastic nut fell out the back. We're gonna put this down. We're gonna hold this, might not get us over. Hold it, make sure it don't crash. We're gonna go down with it. Well. Gotta plug her in first, boys. There's a clip. Down there we're gonna plug in. Actually, I think that went. There. And that one right there, okay. Now, I'm going to put that down. We're going to get our plastic nut that fell out from behind. I'm 
not so sure. Makes too much difference the way it goes. <clears throat> We're gonna do a little bit of that. It's gonna sit on that little ledge right there. We're gonna take our bolt with our rubber washer and that is gonna sit in this little seat. It's gonna start right there. And we gotta change our bits. Back to our T30. Not very tight on that one. That'll be a mistake if you do. Okay, so now we're all installed here. We gotta really watch our track. We need to roll it up and down to make sure nothing's interfering, nothing's hitting, everything is staying clear. I'll reclip that back in there. There's a wire holder clip in there. All the way down. So the only thing we're hitting is because the trim's not on the outside, but everything goes all the way up, all the way down. Let's install this trim back in. This is just going to hook back in and push down, like I just said. It kind of hooks in and slips down on the outside here. That's gonna give us our track. We'll go ahead and reinstall the outside piece. Then that only leaves us with this. We could do that after everything's good and functioning. Okay. So we reinstalled the trim on that side, the lower trim, we took a rubber mallet. You just kind of press the, the chrome trim in and ever so gingerly, ever so gingerly, I can say that because I'm quarter ginger, you tap that in. Um, so now, before we go any further, now we're just down to basically the door panel, the foam card, and this piece. So let's make sure everything's functioning. Go all the way up, all the way down, we'll do it several times. It's normal to have any kind of, it seems slightly slow. Battery might be getting low in the car though. I think it's all right. Um, I might go ahead and put a little bit of lithium grease on this track, make it glide a little bit easier. You could even use like a dry silicone on the inside on the rubber. You could use a bunch of different stuff. Probably not anything petroleum based. Um, yeah, so I guess what we're gonna do here, we'll clean up some of this. We're gonna glue that, um, the door foam back on and we'll leave it set a couple hours, make sure it's good and dry. Make sure the door panel is doing good over here. Let's go over and check on that. It's such a damn tight spot in the shop, it's hard to film anything. Door panel is looking good. It looks like it's pretty much stuck. That down there needs something. It needs another piece of tape. A little bit. It's not bad though. Okay, so that's it. You can see our water is leaking over the bottom of the door panel through that door foam. That's it guys, I'm gonna cut off right here and just blabber it on. That's the rear window regulator replacement on a BMW E39. Thanks for watching, have a good day.